Roomba is a professional 3D character animation software developed by a company called Mercenaries Engineering, the creators of Gorilla Render, and the developers just released Roomba 2.0, which brought with it many new animation features. But before we talk about that, I want to tell you that Roomba is a 3D animation software that was released back in 2020. It was designed to streamline character animation process for visual effects and feature animation work. It seems like another 3D software, but in reality, it is much better than that. Its purpose is to remove common creative stumbling blocks, I mean in animation, by providing a modern, animator-focused toolset. And unlike traditional workflows, which rely heavily on manipulating rig controllers, Roomba lets animators pose characters directly by grabbing and moving the character's geometry, which is a technique usually found in proprietary in-house tools at large studios. The thing is, this direct manipulation approach combined with non-destructive animation layers and real-time performance allows animators to iterate quickly without fighting technical rig interfaces. Roomba's layer-based system means different motion elements or collaborating animators can work in separate layers without overriding each other's work, preserving original animation data and enabling flexible edits. And now with Roomba 2.0, which is the first major update of the software in about two years. This is described by the developers as the most significant update yet. This 2.0 release introduced several important new tools and improvements across the board, from a new dynamic system to shot sequencer, animation tools and upgrades, UI, real-time feedback, and more. And we're gonna start with the dynamic system. Roomba introduces a built-in dynamics engine that lets animators simulate secondary motion automatically, whether it is a character's tail, floppy ears, or swinging accessories. You can apply real-time physics to a realistic motion without keyframing everything by hand. The system is fully controllable and non-destructive, allowing you as an artist to bake, tweak, or turn it off as needed. The other thing is the new sequencer, which lets animators work with multiple shots in one timeline just like a basic editing suite. You can load several shots, arrange their order, adjust in and out points, switch cameras, and play through the entire sequences, all within Roomba. And I think this makes it easier to maintain continuity across different scenes, and spot pacing, and pose consistency issues earlier. In addition to this, Roomba 2.0 comes back with enhancements to everyday animation tools. So you can now mirror poses, reverse keyframe timing, change a control's rotation order, and simplify animation curves. Also, onion skinning has been improved too, letting you preview previous and next poses as transparent overlays directly in the viewport, which is great for finding timing and arcs. When it comes to the user interface, the outliner panel was redesigned to make complex scenes more manageable. New features include clearer hierarchy displays, visibility toggles, and better filtering. And you can also hide manipulators in the viewport for a cleaner view when animating. And these interface tweaks help streamline the animator's interface when dealing with different scenes. Another important thing is real-time playback boosts. So Roomba 2.0 doubles down on performance with smarter caching and better handling of animation layers. Even heavy scenes with multiple characters can play back interactively. As you can imagine, this lets animators preview their work instantly, so no more wasting time or play blasts or waiting for feedback. Also on a side note, I want to mention that Roomba 2.0 actually improved its compatibility with Maya via an upgraded Mturba plugin, supporting more complex rig setups. It also enhances the importing and exporting USD, Alembic, and FBX files, including support for camera animations and deformation data. And you can now round trip animation between Roomba and Maya more reliably, which is ideal for many studios. Last but not least, there is a new asset system, which lets you share characters or props as simple zip files that plug right into the asset library. In addition, small rig tasks, like creating skeletal chains or painting skin weights, can now be done inside the software, and these changes reduce the need to jump back to Maya for minor rig edits and this can actually speed up the team's workflow. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this software, 
you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive all the news about 3D software and more. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.